Hello and welcome to Thought for June the 12th. Our readings are Judges chapters 10 and 11, Isaiah chapter 36, and 1 Peter chapter 2. And our thought is, long for the pure spiritual milk. Peter's letters contain so much that is appropriate to life today, and the circumstances that challenge those struggling to believe and develop their faith in God. This is equally true of those who have spent a lifetime as believers, but now struggle in a world that has become almost totally godless. The world distracts us from taking the pure spiritual milk, and many are experiencing a spiritual famine. God's words through Amos are so true today. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord God, when I will send a famine, not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Chapter 8, verse 11. Now think about what Peter wrote as newborn infants long for the pure spiritual milk that you may grow up to salvation. 1 Peter 2, verse 2. Most people today have no time for Christianity or in a God of any kind. And who can blame them for not believing in Christianity if they are to judge it by what they see of most churches today. It is a poor shadow and distortion of the message Peter and the other apostles took into the world with such energy and commitment so that the gospel became known throughout the Roman Empire. Indeed, Roman historians were writing about AD 110 to uh, 120 or thereabouts, testifying how Nero put hundreds of Christians to death in Rome, and that was in AD 64, just 34 years after the resurrection and ascension of Jesus to heaven. How the message must have spread. Peter quotes what we read a few days ago in Isaiah, which says of true believers must offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it stands in Scripture, Behold, I am laying in Zion a stone, a cornerstone chosen and precious, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. Verses 5 and 6, and see Isaiah 28 verse 16. Peter, like Isaiah, is building up a mental picture of a spiritual house with Jesus being the cornerstone of the building, from whom all the measurements are taken. He makes the point, if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is good. Verse 3. So what is spiritual tasting like? So many taste the things that appeal to them, and what humanly appeals and they, that they enjoy. But those who feed on the pure spiritual milk know differently. They come to him, Jesus that is, a living stone rejected by men, but in the sight of God chosen and precious. You yourselves, like living stones, are being built up as a spiritual house. Verses 4 and 5. The pure words of scripture, carefully read, compared, fitted together and understood, provide the pure spiritual milk. It is the nutrient that leads to real growth, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvellous light. Now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Verses 9 and 10. So let us associate with those who take spiritual milk every day and make sure we are a part of God's spiritual house. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.